like anything, you have a learning curve. With welding, you can learn the basics that you practice to actually get even better at it. For some of my welds, some of them are pretty good. And there's others where it's completely burnt and the aluminum is melted and you're like, yeah, that's a really bad weld. I'm Lillian Nercurvis and I'm a fourth year student at the School of Information and Library Sciences. Spot is a software controlled robot and it has dog-like traits or animalistic traits. So it is a zoomorphic robot. It has four motors on it and using software we're able to individually control all of these different motors. I came up with the idea to modify Spot to be a seeing eye dog when I was watching it move around. We were all kind of joking and being like, oh, come here Spot. And I was like, oh, well, it is very dog-like. What if we used it for some sort of guiding capacity? And then it clicked, it was like, oh, why can't we do this for people who have visual impairments where they can be led by Spot? The current modifications that we have on it is a additional camera system to detect environment. We also have a NVIDIA Jetson, which is like a supercomputer. Also a speaker and microphone system for users to take and receive commands. And then on top of that, we also have a lot of software development. The first steps were mainly coding and understanding of the obstructions. It took a lot of detection and understanding for the robot to make sure that when it's maneuvering, it has a person next to it, so how do we move with a person? We built this harness in the machine shop, and we used the lathe, drill press, and we also welded most of the pieces together. When running the experiment, the person would have a QR code marker on the side of their leg so that the robot can keep track of the person's position. Once that straps to the leg and once the person has the harness, the robot is ready to go. The speaker microphone system would allow the user to talk to Spot and also for Spot to interpret the surrounding environments. It recognizes there are obstacles or people. It would be like, hey, there are people. In turn, the user can talk to Spot and be like, hey, Spot, can you do this? This research is important because it allows for the moving forward of accessible technologies. I love working with the robots. I've had to learn so much for this project. Everything from software to hardware to working the machine shop. It's most exciting just to learn and see and do things.